We all get knocked down in every aspect of life. You're going to fall flat on your face. You're going to be criticized when you come out into the arena called life. You're going to feel awkward and stupid and dumb sometimes. But it's okay. It goes with the territory. When the defining moment comes, either you define the moment or the moment defines you. Either you define the moment you decided that you're going to not concern yourself with the naysayers. That you're not going to concern yourself with what has happened or what hasn't happened. But you're going to make the commitment to do what you've got to do so that you can have a lifestyle that you've never experienced before. Or the moment defines you. And you decide to play it safe. And 20 years from now you say to yourself, what if I would have taken a chance on myself? What if I would have stayed in the game? What if I would have kept making the phone calls? What if, what if, and what if? But let me tell you something. Something amazing begins to happen when you make the decision to move forward on your goals and your dreams. And maybe you've been knocked down in your life and it seems like, hey, the fight is over. It is not over unless you quit. You have to learn to turn and look at every obstacle as an opportunity. You gotta get gritty, man. You gotta develop some dog in you. Life is gonna throw some serious blows, some body blows, and they gonna hurt. But I want you to feel that pain going through your body. And as pain leaves your body, guess what's gonna take its place? Success. No pain, no gain. Pain has a purpose. Don't go through it, grow through it. Stop running from your pain and embrace your pain. Your pain is going to be a part of your prize. I challenge you to push yourself. When you get knocked down and you're gonna get knocked down, when you run into some roadblocks and you're gonna run into them, when you have some setbacks, you can always be able to bring yourself back in knowing if someone has done it, it's possible that I can do it. You've got to be willing to face rejection and no again and again and again. Defeat again and again and again. And every time life knocks you down, you jump up and say, It's not over until I win. Fight your way through this battle. You have what it takes. Your greatness comes from within. And once you realize that, nothing will stop you. Nothing will keep you from being great. It's already there. You just have to feel it and know that you were placed here for a reason. I want what all other men want. But when the opposition hits, when the challenge hits, when the pain creeps in, when the uncertainty creeps in, when the cuts, when the scars, when the bruises come, I just want it a little bit more than they want it. If you dare to be great, if you dare to do something that you've never done before, if you dare to go to limits that you've never went to before, they will remember your legacy forever. What you become in the process is more important than the dream. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. Oh, it's something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. You knew it was hard, but you did it hard. And so here's what I say to you. There are going to be times that you're going to be wondering, why should I keep showing up and working my business? Why should I keep at it? Why should I keep showing up to the conventions? Why should I keep picking up the phones and making the phone calls? Why should I keep fighting for my goals and fighting for my dreams? And what I want to remind you is that you got to show up for your life regardless of the circumstances. You got to show up in spite of the naysayers. You got to show up in spite of the conversation going on in your mind. You got to show up for your life because if you don't, nobody else will. You will fail. You will likely fail often. It will be painful. It will be discouraging. At times it will test you to your very core. It will not be easy. This is for those of you who are going through the fire. Those of you who are wondering, how can I keep going like this? Some of you have been through so much that you should have lost your mind. It's all right to fail as long as you fail forward. It's all right, but I need you to have heart because there's some things you just can't get without perseverance. Don't think it's strange when things happen to you because every man, every woman, every boy, every girl will go through a time where your faith will be tested. 
you will hit something. And when you do, you will have a choice. Many choose to turn around. They feel a little pain, then they run away. But there is a small number who decide that the pain is worth the price. They will do whatever is required to make it past this. I know it's hard. And I know it may look hopeless. But if you just keep pushing forward, you'll see how strong you truly are. When things are going bad, there's going to be some good that will come from it. Mission got canceled? Good. We can focus on another one. Didn't get promoted? Good. More time to get better. Didn't get funded? Good. We own more of the company. Didn't get the job you wanted? Good. Go out, gain more experience, build a better resume. Got injured? Good. Needed a break from training. Got beat? Good. We learned. Unexpected problems? Good. We have an opportunity to figure out a solution. That's it. When things are going bad, don't get all bummed out, don't get startled, don't get frustrated. No. Take that issue, take that setback, take that problem and turn it into something good. Go forward. If you can say the word good, it means you're still alive. It means you're still breathing. It means you've still got some fight left in you. So get up, dust off, reload, recalibrate, re-engage and go out on the attack. I got here not because I'm the strongest, not because I'm the fastest, not because I'm the best. I never stopped fighting. It got harder and it got harder and it seemed the further I climbed, the harder it got. But I didn't stop, I didn't quit. I just kept fighting and fighting and fighting. Don't let this world break you. You are stronger than what you are going through. I invested too much to quit. I made too many sacrifices to give up. We've come too far. We've been through too much. We've seen too much. We've had too many victories. We have seen defeat. We've looked defeat in the face and we've overcome it. We've come too far to give up now. We've come too far to be negative now. We've come too far to start overthinking now. So when life happens, I don't just sit there and cry. I, I buck back. I buck back. I wish I could tell you it's gonna get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, the weight is gonna get lighter. I wish I could tell you that, but that's not the truth. The truth is you gotta find something within. You gotta find something within, and that's gotta push you, and that's gotta elevate you, and that's gotta drive you, and that's gotta move you. And when you find out what your why is, you don't hit snooze no more. When you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. The spirit of resiliency, the spirit of grit, it's in your DNA, it's in your blood. Overcoming is in your blood. Getting through adversity is in your blood. Your ancestors got through so much more. We will be all right. We need to focus on where we're going, not where we come from and what's happening. I just need you to keep walking toward it. I don't need you thinking about it no more. You're doing too much thinking. You're analyzing too much. You're talking yourself out of it. I don't know if this going to work. I tried and it didn't work. I just need you to keep moving. I need you to make up in your mind that the only way you can lose is if you quit. And I just need you to keep going. It's an opportunity to prove what you're made of. It's an opportunity to prove you are what you say you are in your head. When you look in the mirror and you say, there goes a bad motherfucker, you actually believe it. And the process is not supposed to be comfortable. So if it hurts, welcome to the big leagues. If you feel like you're under heat, praise God. If you feel like you're being pressured, praise God. But when God looks like he's pulling you back, eventually he's going to let you go. And the farther he pulls you back, the farther he pulls you back, once he releases you, boom. I challenge you to never give up. Never give up. You're going to be here one day, but you'll never get here if you give up, if you give in, if you quit. And finally, guys, you got to want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. What do you do when the thing that you didn't ask for happens in your life in the shifting seasons? You can find yourself stressed out. You can find yourself depressed mentally fragile because of the experiences, the turbulence that you have gone through. 
I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, there are some times when things aren't going to go right, and you have to deal with it. You can experience enough pain in life that he can clobber you to the ground, and you believe you can't do it. You believe that this is it for you. No, it's not. Setbacks will happen, and when they do... It's okay to cry, it's okay to go home, but eventually you have to get over it and move on. You don't have to force yourself or motivate yourself to think negatively, to be depressed, to hate somebody, to want revenge, to want to get back at somebody, to beat yourself up over the head, to feel loaded with guilt. You don't have to make any effort to do that. Your mind is on automatic. It will do that by itself. But if you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, if you want to begin to really enjoy a happy, successful, healthy life, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. You want it, and you're going to go all out to have it. I challenge you to see your problems as a great thing. I challenge you to start being thankful that you have the opportunity to grow, get stronger, get more focused, get more skilled, and kick more ass because of every hardship you face. You need to make it a habit to start every f***ing day validating yourself because life is a marathon. And this might be a challenging leg where you're like, I'm just going to throw in the towel. I'm not going to do that thing. Hell no. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself, every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. My back is up against this motherfucker every day, and I gotta go that way. And I don't give a fuck who is in front of me. They're not gonna stop me. We turn tragedy into triumph. That's what lions do. Lions don't cry. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions hunt. That's what we do for a living. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time. You go by the gazelle. You hunt until you get a gazelle, and you don't stop until you get one. It's hard to handle it. You got to fortify yourself and say, come on with it. I've got to step into it. Just find an excuse to win. Keep going. If you're gonna be successful in this game, you gotta have a dog within you. You gotta know it's a dog fight, and you gotta go get that fight. Life ain't gonna be easy. Ain't nobody gonna hand you nothing. You still gotta go to work. You still gotta compete against everybody in your industry. Life still gonna happen while you trying to blow up. I want to know what the f I'm made of. I want to know what I can overcome. And I know from experience that the harder the task to overcome, the more strength I'm going to gain from it. When you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, doors start opening, opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit doing the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. These are the days that test your fortitude. They test your endurance, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness, your character. At the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing, when you'd rather die than send another email or take another phone call or talk to another human, you gotta get the job done. You gotta tell life, I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you ain't dealt with me. You gotta tell bankruptcy. You gotta tell divorce. You gotta tell sickness. I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you come up against the wrong one this time. You can be and do whatever you want, and nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you but you. You have to understand that there's a journey that takes place in your career, in your life. Every transformation always gets worse before it gets better. It's supposed to be that way. The journey you're embarking on is not an easy path. It's not for the ill-hearted or the weak-natured. It's for the strong people. And before you embark on this journey, mentally, you have to prepare yourself for it. No one's gonna get worse before it gets better. Throughout your journey, people are going to deny you. 
people are going to reject you. Your journey makes you want to cry. Your journey puts you some time in dark places where you feel like nothing is going to do right for you. Nothing's going to be right. People are going to take you places that you've never been before through heartache, through pain, through so much to make you want to quit your journey. When you embark this journey, you must know that it's going to go down before it comes up. But when it comes up, it's going to go so much higher than you've ever been. Sacrificing today for tomorrow's betterment. But if you didn't know that, you didn't prepare for that, you think something's wrong, maybe it's time to stop. No, it's time to move free and further. You have to be equipped mentally to endure this process. Knowing what you're about to go into is step one. Knowing it's an uphill battle, but a winnable one and one that's achievable. It's up to you to push past the pain. Because on the other side of pain is glory. It's rejoicing. It's happiness. It's winning. It's succeeding. You gotta understand, with no pain, it's no progress. You don't go through something that you won't get nothing. And you choose whether or not that journey is gonna hurt you or make you stronger. I remember so many times I wanted to quit. I wanted to turn around. I wanted to say a stop. I wanted to go back and go back to what I used to be. You gotta push through that shit. You gotta tell yourself that no matter what, no matter what gets in my way, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep moving. I'm gonna keep winning. I'm gonna keep surviving. It's everything that you want because you went through that pain of that journey that felt like you wanted to just knock you down and say, you know what? You can't do it. Understand that it's gonna be trials and tribulation. They will have storms, but they will have sunshine after the rain. But that depends on you and how bad do you truly want. Nothing in life will hold you back if you trust in yourself and you trust in the process. And at the end of this race, guys, you're gonna be more capable. Through that effort, builds the character, the person you wanna be at the end. Accept that. Pressure does most people in. The weight of what it feels like to wanna to be successful every single day, over and over and over. It's just too much pressure. People crack. You got to persevere. You must insist that this is going to happen. You got to get in there and keep fighting. You got to be constantly at it. Everybody got to develop some dog in them. You got to say, I'm going to hang in here now. I'm going to hang in here. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to stay with it no matter what. At the very end state, what really wins it isn't the potential of the person, it's the perseverance, the heartbeat of a person. That heart doesn't stop. The heart doesn't go nine to five and then shut down. It's always beating, just like a true champion doesn't just exist in the arena, but exists everywhere else too. Those moments and inches that are won at the final hour that make or break a win or a loss aren't discovered there. They're just going through thousands of hours in the training lab. When no one's watching, do you get up and run at five in the morning when it's pouring down rain? There's a person of character that values who the they are. There's no half-ass here, half-ass there, and then when it matters, oh, I'll give it my all. It doesn't work that way. Everyone wants it, but somebody wants it more. Where does all the great sh that we have in our lives come from? It all comes from people who, in the face of massive adversity, decide that they're going to move forward regardless. They're going to make the thing that they want to happen, happen, no matter what anybody says, no matter how many times they get laughed at, no matter how many times they get called crazy, no matter what, they are going to make this happen. We have the ability to make the choice to be the person who rises above the sh If you keep making the choice to take the things that happen to you and turn them into good, productive things, there is no way that you cannot be successful. None of us ever get through this life without heartache, without turmoil. We're all gonna fail at something. Everyone's failed at something. Life is a trial, and trials are never supposed to be easy. 
Life is hard. It's hard handling the tragedies of life. When you're working on something and, and you put everything you have in it, and it doesn't work out, you lose your money and other people's money. It's hard. It is okay to be scared. It is okay to cry. But giving up should not be an option. And it doesn't matter how you get knocked down in life. Because that's going to happen. All that matters is that you got to get up. Because when you fail, you get up. And then you fail and then you get up. And that keeps you going. That's how humans are strong. Failure is an option, but giving up is not. Find a way. If you believe and you have faith, and you can get knocked down and get back up again, and you believe in perseverance as a great human quality, you find your way. You gotta have that resiliency over and over again. You gotta make a commitment to keep stepping up to the plate and swinging for the fences. Every day, whenever you do what you do, swing for the fences. Understanding when you swing for the fences, sometimes you'll miss. Did you know Hank Aaron had twice as many strikeouts as he had home runs? But he kept swinging for the fences. Most times he missed. But when he hit it, he knocked it out the park. When it's your shot to do what you do, keep swinging and keep striving. Change is going to happen in your life. Setbacks are going to happen. But a setback is nothing but a setup for a comeback. The champions is not the potential. It's not their genetics. It's their perseverance to always show up, always willing to fail, because in failure, that's part of success. Success is not a marathon of life with just ups. Success is formulated through failures, through facing your fears, through falling down and getting back up. That's what creates the champion.